welcome back to my channel or if you're new here and joining me for the very first time then welcome so today i'm doing a bit of a like health fitness lifestyle update kind of video i think this is going to be a huge part of my life going forward because as some of you may know i created a instagram account called 40 is the new 30 and I've got this big thing in my head. I'm 37 next month. And I've always, always said um, to my husband, since I've had the kids, I cannot and do not want to go into my 40s looking and feeling the way that I do now. So it's time to do something about it. So as some of you may know, I joined the gym a couple months ago. I have been going to the gym. I've slacked off the past couple of weeks, but I've had like a bad foot. Um, my heel's been really hurting. I don't know what's been going on, but it seems to have got better now. Anyway, I have been online and I have hired a PT. So today is my first training session with him at the gym and I am so, so nervous. So I thought I would take my camera along with me to the gym this morning. I'm going to ask him if it's okay if I film our workout. Um, basically, I kind of want this to kind of look back on as well. I have taken a video this morning of my kind of befores, my like physical physique and appearance. Um, I don't think I'm going to be sharing that in this video because to be honest... I'm not happy about it <laughs> once it changes and once i can see the my body changing then i'll probably put together like a um i don't know a before during and after video or something i'm not sure but at the moment i don't think i'm quite happy to share that with you but i thought i would bring you along with me on this journey sorry if i sound like really nasally and horrible my hay fever at the moment is wild um, yeah, I just thought I'd bring you along with me for the journey and I want to make kind of a, a series about it on my YouTube channel. So just like maybe once a week, I will upload a video about like my workouts or what I'm eating or how I'm doing, my training sessions at the gym, just kind of that type of thing. So yeah, anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you are going to enjoy the series. If it's not your type of thing, that's completely fine. I just thought... You know, because I'm going to see a PT now and I'm going to the gym and I'm having a lot more protein and I'm trying to change my diet. I just thought it'd be really good and more beneficial to me if I film it as well, because then it's something for me to look back on. Or it's something, you know, in six months time, if I if I think to myself like, oh, I'm, I'm not doing so well, I might be able to look back at the starting video and be like, well, actually... I've come a long way. Well, <laughs> that's the hope anyway. So yeah, so I've just done my before video. Not going to add that in here, but I will add it to a video at some point. Fingers crossed. Going to um, finish off getting ready and head to the gym. Hopefully film a bit of my PT session. And then once I'm home from the gym, I'll have a chat to you about my kind of calorie split, my macro split, what I'm going to be eating and stuff like that so yeah i will see you at the gym i don't want to stay here no ain't gonna keep it low now if you want to go let's go let's wrap it up and hit the road i just got an awesome vibe striking the wind up post now liberty's on my mind we've taken off we've left the ground you to understand that we get one chance, one chance You, you will never regret the things that we'll do Cause I
Today's session done guys. I don't think I did too bad considering I did a night shift last night. <laughs> so I need to go home now and have a cold shower and then I'm going to get a couple hours sleep. And then I'll have a chat to you later about um, what I've been doing, how much I've lost, how long I've been doing it, um, my new Apple watch which I'm absolutely obsessed with. Um, yeah, just picked up a load of these as well. They are protein bars. So I got some peanut butter and some white chocolate. They're selling them off for 50p each because they're out of date, but I mean, date doesn't matter to me. But I thought, yeah, I might as well as um, give some of these a try and Dan might like them. So yeah, I bought five as well for those. Also just put myself back a hoodie, which I'm gonna pay for on payday. So yeah, but yeah, felt like I did really, really good today i am loving the gym so much like i never thought i would be this person and i am this person <laughs> i can't wait till january when danny is going to preschool so that i can come more often but i've been doing really well i've only been managing to get here once or twice a week but i'm going to tell you more about that later because even though i've only been coming once or twice a week i have been good but anyway i'll explain more about that later i need to go home have a shower and get some sleep before I've got to pick up Danny. Hey, so it is now a couple of days later. It has literally taken me like a, a week and a half, two weeks to film this video from start to finish. Still me get down, darling. Not allowed. Ah, bah, bah, bah. Bah, 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 bah. No. Get down. <laughs> no. The footage that you just saw of me at the gym is the kind of workout routine that my PT set for me the week before when I forgot my camera. Um, so what I've been doing is basically just going to the gym twice a week, working on that routine that he set me, and then I'm due to see him again in a couple of days, and then, I don't know, then I think he'll set me something else, and I'll do that for a while, and, you know, because I don't want to... Uh, be doing the same thing all the time and then maybe my muscles will get used to it I'm not sure um, but now I know that kind of routine I can always go back to it when I want also some days I haven't been able to get to the gym because I can only go to the gym when I've got childcare so if it's a day when I can't get to the gym we have actually bought a secondhand treadmill so we have a treadmill at home now so if I can't get to the gym, I'll either have a good walk on the treadmill or I do weights at home. Um, I'm a very, very lucky lady and my husband treated me to a Apple Watch. So I've got an Apple Watch SE, I think it is. And oh my God, I am completely and utterly in love with it. It has motivated me and spurred me on so much since I got it, which was, I think I got it on the 1st of July. Um, every single day since I've had it, 
I have made sure I have closed my rings. Um, <clears throat> basically, what they say is, if you close your rings, then obviously you're being quite active and you're working out every day. So I just literally make sure that every single day those rings are closed. If I haven't worked out, if I haven't done enough exercise, <clears throat> if my activity level isn't high enough, then I jump on the treadmill 5, 10, 15 minutes and done. Yeah, this, this Apple Watch, honestly, it has spurred me on so much and I am completely and utterly in love with it. If anyone wants me to do like a more in-depth video about the Apple Watch and stuff, then just leave me a comment down below and I will do that. But obviously, I don't want to talk about it too much in this video. Um, but yeah, I can do that for you if you want. Also, I can do a video of like at home workouts that I've been doing. I've got some dumbbells and I've got like a Z bar. Um, I've been doing squats with and stuff like that. This little baby boy, you've been a little nightmare today. You're not allowed on so far. Get down. Get down. Down. Good boy. <clears throat> so yeah, I might actually do one of those next week. I might do like a couple days of my like at home training workouts because. Um, Parker breaks up from school today, so it's going to be a lot harder for me to get to the gym in the next six weeks. I'm still going to see my PT, and my mum's going to look after them for an hour whilst I see him. Um, but it might be quite hard to get there at other times, so I might be doing a lot of like workouts at home. But some of the stuff that he showed me in the gym, like the um, the windmills and the Russian twists, I'm able to do at home, and also like. The squats, the back squats with the squat rack, I can do that at home because I've got a Z bar. So I can like adapt a lot of it for at home. But yeah, in the 10 days since I've had my Apple Watch, I've seen the PT, I've been like closing my rings every single day. In those 10 days, I think it's 12 days actually. In those 12 days, I have lost six pounds and I've lost two inches from my waist and two inches from my stomach. So I am so, so chuffed with that. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going how I go in. Um, I did look at kind of doing like a macro split and eating lots of protein and stuff, but basically I am trying to get my protein up, but I'm not focusing too much, much on macros. I can't like, you know, it's a lot of things at once. I can't do all this working out and closing my rings and looking at my calories and looking at my macros. It's just like, no, it's too much. So what I thought I would do is just focus on my calories. Like I've done it before. When I was losing weight for the wedding, I lost two stone just by counting calories. I didn't even really work out, to be honest. So, um, yeah, I know I can do it just by counting calories. So I'm not looking at macros at the moment. Um, I don't feel it's needed, you know. I'm just trying... I basically, my goal is to feel better within myself and to look better. I don't even care about weight loss because, as most people know, muscle weighs the same as fat, but it takes up less room in the body. So I could... Yeah? No. So I could be the weight that I am today, I could stay this weight and next year be the same weight but look completely different because I could just replace all that fat with muscle which weighs the same as the fat but it takes up less room so I could look less lean and stuff. I mean hopefully I do lose some weight because obviously you know the weight on the scales, the BMI and all that rubbish does come into it when you know when you go to the doctors and stuff so um yeah that is the plan I am really really enjoying it I'm really loving life at the moment these past 12 days have just been amazing and it just spurs me on all the time because I'm constantly I'm constantly looking at my watch and looking at my rings I mean at the moment it's quarter past eight in the morning and that's how they're looking at the moment but yeah, I'm constantly checking and I'm constantly like, oh my God, I've got to move, I've got to do this, I've got to do this. And sometimes if I really can't be bothered to work out, what I'll do is I'll go and pick up the weights and just do it for like five minutes. And then later on in the day, I'll do 10 minutes on the treadmill and then I might do five minutes like jogging on the spot or something like that. It's just making sure that I exercise and get my heart rate elevated for at least 30 minutes every single day. And yeah, I'm loving it. 
I mean, considering six pounds have come off and four inches in like 12 days, I just think it's incredible. So yeah, I really think anyway, that I've found what I'm gonna do. I'm sticking to it, it's working well. I love it, I feel healthy, I feel like I'm getting stronger. And this is definitely just my new path. This is what I'm gonna be sticking to for the next however long. So yeah, anyway guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please do remember to give it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment below as well. It really does help with like my engagement and stuff. Um, <laughs> you're so silly. Get down. If you are new here and you would like to follow my journey, there is a little red subscribe button in the corner somewhere. If you click on that, it just means that when you log into YouTube on your home screen, like my newest video will come up so that you won't miss anything. But yeah, um, I hope you have a good day, whatever you're doing, and I will see you soon. Bye. Oh, baby,